Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this session, we will learn how to use Google Fonts by using the package called Google underscore fonts. So without wasting time, let's get started. For getting this Google underscore fonts package, we have to visit the website called pop.dev, which is actually a official website for Dart and Flutter packages. Inside this search bar, we have to type the Google underscore fonts, hit the enter button, now click on this Google underscore fonts package. Then here you will get this specific dependency called Google underscore fonts. Now this Google underscore fonts package allows us to use thousands of font from the website called fonts.google.com without downloading it locally in the application. It means we don't need to download the font file. We don't need to store it inside the font folder and not even we don't need to configure that one inside the popspec.yaml file. Whatever font that we use by using this Google underscore fonts package, this specific font will be downloaded over the internet. So make sure that when we run the application first time, we must turn on the internet or the Wi-Fi. After downloading the font, that specific font will be stored inside the cache of your application. The Google underscore fonts is mostly preferred in order to save the application size in case if we have multiple fonts to be used inside the project. Now for getting the package, we have to click the link called installing. Here we have to copy this specific dependency. So let's copy this specific line here. So I had copied this one and now we have to jump inside the file called popspec.yaml. So let me open this popspec.yaml file here and just go here and below this option called Cupertino icon, we have to paste this specific dependency that we have copied. So let me paste it here and we have to save this file. When you save this popspec.yaml file, your VS code will automatically download dependency for you. Now if this automation is not happening for you, there is one more way to do it manually. For this, just press the button called Ctrl J, which will launch your debug console. And here we have the tab called Terminal. For this terminal, we have to type the command called Flutter pop get. Hit the enter button. It will get the dependency manually for you. After getting this dependency successfully, it's important to restart this application if it is already running. We have this simple Flutter application code written here. For using this Google underscore fonts dependency, we have to import a file called Google underscore fonts dot dart file. After importing this dart file, I'm jumping inside the center widget. For the center widget, we have the property called child. And as a child, I'm passing a text widget. And let me pass a simple text, say hello here. Let me add a comma, save this file and look at the changes on the screen. Now you can see this hello appears in the default text style. Now if you want to use this specific Google font here, so let's use the property called style and every time we have used the object called text style. Now here without using that text style, we have to use the object of Google underscore font. So let's use Google underscore fonts and let hit this dot. Now once we use the dot, it allows us to use the thousands of fonts available inside this Google underscore fonts package. So from this, let me use the font called uh, Roboto. Now this line is giving error to us. In order to resolve this error, we have to remove this const return before the material app. So let's save this. You can see the changes over the screen. And this specific Google dot fonts has lots of properties which are very much similar to the properties that this textile provides. So if you hover the properties, we can see we get the properties like background, background color, decoration, even we can have the option like font size. So let me use fonts as a 30 pixel and we can even use the font weight. Then let me use your font weights dot bold. Save this code and look at the changes over the screen. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like the way I'm explaining the concept, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.